Cedar Point is known for breaking records, but what if I told you that Cedar Point would never break a record again? Unfortunately, that statement is true. Cedar Point is done building record-breaking coasters. But why? Why is Cedar Point done breaking records? Well, let's find out. Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio opened back in 1870, and this park has stood the test of time. And in the last 40 years, Cedar Point has been known for breaking records. Like, it feels like Cedar Point finds a way to break a record for just about everything. And I'm not even exaggerating. Cedar Point managed to break quote-unquote 10 records with a dive coaster. Yes, a dive coaster. Only three of the records Valerian broke actually mattered. And this is what I want to focus on in this video. Cedar Point is done breaking legit records. Now, will they probably find a way to break some silly records? Yeah, probably. But Cedar Point is done breaking the height, speed, and length records for good. Now, you're probably wondering, why can't they break records anymore? Well, let me tell you. Cedar Point has three major problems. And starting off with reason number one. Cedar Point doesn't have enough space. Cedar Point currently owns a reported 364 acres. Great, that's a lot of space. But, I believe that only about 300 of those acres are actually usable for record-breaking attractions. Think, Cedar Point has a massive parking lot, which takes up a lot of land. And then they have some areas of land that are used for maintenance areas, and then even have part of that land being used as a beach. So, land is already a little limited. Now, 300 acres is a lot of land for a lot of parks. But Cedar Point is currently home to 17 different coasters. So, 70 coasters had to share these 300 acres along with paths, restaurants, etc. And Cedar Point is completely landlocked. They physically can't buy any more land. Meaning that the land they have is all that they will ever have. So, this is a major problem because record-breaking coasters take up a lot of space. And that space is space Cedar Point does not have. So, if Cedar Point really wanted to build a record-breaking coaster, they would have to remove Another previous record-breaking coaster. I'm not sure I said that right. Basically, Cedar Point is at a place where you have to remove a coaster to build a coaster. And Cedar Point is a lot of iconic coasters like Blue Streak, Gemini, Millennium Force. And some of these coasters, they just can't remove. So, Cedar Point does not have enough space. Now, moving on to problem number two. Money. Cedar Point used to be the crown jewel of the Cedar Fair Entertainment Company. But now that they are part of a larger company, the new Six Flags Entertainment Company, Cedar Point is going to have to share those investments. They can't just be the favorite park anymore. And Six Flags has a lot of work to do. They need to build up a lot of parks. And Cedar Point is already very well built up. So I could really see their investment start to peter off in the next five years because the money is going to parks that need it more than Cedar Point right now. And think, there are other big parks in the chain that get a lot of investment like Magic Mountain and Great Adventure. Cedar Point just can't build a coaster every couple of years, especially one that will break records. Not to mention the economy. The main reason that Cedar Point and Six Flags are merging is to weather the economic storm that could be coming in the next few years. And record-breaking coasters cost a lot of money. Big shocker, right? And this money is likely going to dry up in the future, and it just might not come back. And without money, Cedar Point just can't build record-breaking coasters. So basically, Cedar Point is just not going to be getting the level of investment that they used to. And they just won't have the money to build these record-breaking attractions year after year. So what's this last reason? Why is Cedar Point never going to be able to retake the tallest, fastest, or longest roller coaster records? Oh, and if you're enjoying the video, then give it a like and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. It helps out the channel a lot. I really appreciate each like and subscriber. Okay, so why is Cedar Point not going to be able to break any records potentially ever again? Well, records have become almost impossible to break. Falcon's Flight is over 600 feet tall, features an over 13,000 feet of track, and a top speed of over 150 miles per hour. These stats are absolutely ridiculous, and the amount of money it would take Cedar Point to break this record is just absurd. So even if Cedar Point miraculously found space to build a coaster of this magnitude, 
I don't even think they could do it for under like 50, 60 million dollars. That is way too much money for Six Flags to put into Cedar Point. Especially if it's for only one coaster. And we also have to take into account the people who would actually be riding this coaster. Probably at least half of the people that would visit Cedar Point on a normal day would most likely not want to ride a roller coaster that's over 600 feet tall. Like that, you have to be really brave to try to ride a coaster that tall. And think, there's going to be a lot of sustained positive G-forces. And sometimes those forces can make people feel sick. And you don't want people feeling sick when you're riding an amusement park. Because then they're not enjoying other rides or buying anything. And not many people want to ride a coaster that makes them feel sick. So they're almost at a point to where if you were to build a record-breaking coaster, there's not going to be a lot of people who would be willing to ride it. And at that point, it just defeats the purpose of building such a massive coaster and spending so much money for only a handful of people actually being able to and wanting to ride it. So, Cedar Point is done breaking the tallest, fastest, and longest roller coaster in the world records forever. They don't have the space, money, and the amount of people that would want to ride such a coaster anymore. And I would be genuinely shocked if in the next, let's give it 20 years, Cedar Point retook those records. It just doesn't make sense for them to do it right now. And even if they wanted to do it, it would just never happen. There's not the money or the land to do it. But there's still a chance Cedar Point might come back and shock us all and go back to breaking records. Cedar Point would just have to be really creative, and they could do it, but I just doubt it at this point. I just don't think it's going to happen. And that is why Cedar Point might just be done breaking records forever. And if you want to know what we all missed about Top Thrill 2, then click the video on your screen. Because that's going to tell you what we all missed with Top Thrill 2. And trust me, it's not what you think. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next